Ladies and gentlemen, lads and ladies, another day in the life of a pirate. That's, that's a pirate I'm talking about. Oh, I've got, I've got a bit earlier today. I don't know what's going on. I think my whole lifestyle's changing now. I think there's the time zones. Keep being out on sea all the time. 11.17. It's 11.17. Wow. I've got a bit. Someone's hit me base. Oh, good thing I haven't got a... I don't have to rearm that much. Oh, no. It's just kind of all right. Well, this is the way you want to start your day anyway. Oh, Dave. Wait, to start the day with Dave. Oh, he's been rejected. Oh, oh sorry, Dave. I would have I would have rejected him as well myself because that guy's been swimming for years. I've been trying to help him, but I think his demons have got to him and that. But uh, he's not a bad guy, but I don't want to... It's not about him. It's about you guys anyway. So all I want to say to you guys is Uncle Boom is going to be doing his quick little 20 streak so that gets you out of the way early in the morning. Uh, let's just get on with it. No need to waste time. I I'm not here to uh, climb any more roofs and get many more footballs down from there. It's not the way I operate anymore. What you want to do is you want to start off with a, a bit of loot at least in your storages so that when you're doing your streak, you don't want to be short of loot all right just just collect whatever you got don't worry about it oh my gosh 15 oh thank you very much me okay me stand yes nice one so it's all about being progressive creative and inventive when it comes to this game you're the creator and architect of your own gameplay please remember that don't allow anyone to put you down your values as much as you want it to be and never fill your cup more than you need when that comes to that stress levels that's what i'm talking about so please don't allow your happiness to depend on other people's mood swings the world we live in now uh, you know how it goes is like dog eat dog sort of thing so uh okay what we're gonna do is i'm gonna take out that eight triple r right there can you see it boom 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 booms your uncle booms your uncle early in the morning booms your uncle anyway over here you want to use an aeronaut because uh, that ship there usually can get you if you're on a, if you're just a, one of the gunners going around, you know, you don't want to be getting hit by that. So yeah, just it's all about deploying your troops correctly and getting them fat boots, the fat boots, not the boots, it's the fat brutes. You want to get them on their feet first so that they can just take a few hits. Oh, what's going on there? Yeah, good thing I wasn't direct on my face there. Yeah. But anyway, you want to use your sky radius correctly because I learned that from a friend called Wally. From, she was with Firewater. It's all about the fire, you know, within our hearts and in our bodies and everything. Sadie didn't really get released properly there, but it doesn't really matter. I'm just doing what I can. I press that button blindly. Look at that. Look what. Ooh, I didn't even get even one grand hammer, did I? Oh my word. Let's just get the 50%. Let's get that little 20 street going. It's not always about two stars and three stars. We're not trying to hurt players out there. I know I'm a really OP, OG, triple O, whatever you want to call it. I know I'm a very strong pirate and I've got lots of muscles where muscles don't usually grow, but that's not the point. Well, the point is, it's two points. And they are, one is the brain and one is the stomach. And I'll be honest with you, I'll tell you which one influences which one. The stomach is the one that influences the brain. Because when the stomach's hungry, it really doesn't care where the food comes from. It could come from the sky, it could come from the sea, it could come from the ground, it could come from someone else's mouth. It doesn't matter. If you're hungry, you just want some food. Well, anyway, it's early in the morning. I still ain't had my breakfast. Oh, what's going on here? Ace's Island. Look what he's done over here. I always see this gap, but whenever... Oh, I should have had Annabelle. Where was Annabelle? When I need her. Oh, I don't feel like missing out on this, but i got a feeling I'm going to get my own self smashed. So, see, all of his defences are rearmed. That means he knows what he's doing. So he must be getting away with a lot of wins as well on that. Yeah, so it was all about picking the right base at the right time, all right? It's all about timing and calculating. I should have checked the perks before I went into the street. Oh, come on, Ace. Oh, it's because he's a rival. He keeps coming up. 
So why is no one hitting him? Come on, get him out of the way. Oh, to be honest with you, yeah, yesterday was a bit horses, Alexander. I don't, I'm not going for PR, guys. I'm just going for an easy win, you know. I'm like, I'm one of those lazy pirates, you know. But yeah, I was going to say to you guys, the juggernauts and the boots, they have a v cobra. Wish I could have given you a PR boost. There's nothing I can do except for give you a 40%. Uh, sorry, mate. I've got a bigger fish to fry. Sea dog. Hey, me friend, me old matey. You know what it is? I'm going to be honest with you guys right now. You know, a friend like Sea dog. I know that Sea dog has got maybe more than one account. I've got multiple friends. Even I've got more than one account in the sense that you have to have accounts to back yourself up. Now, just want to say, players like this are so, so dedicated to the game that it's sad to see how they should have to go into like like a guild just to rest and sleep because they're so bored of the game. Oh my God, I should have had Annabelle. Look, I've got one of those bases that I normally smash all the time. I'm just going to go for it. No, I'm not going to go for it. I might end up Risking it for a biscuit. That's what it's all about. It's all about risking it for that little cookie biscuit. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, my word. I'm just trying to get the right direction for this one. I just want to get an easy win. I'm like one of those lazy drivers, you know, on the motorways. That just wants to stick to that one lane, the fast lane. And that's it, thinking you're going fast, even though that lane is the slowest. Because sometimes you've got so many people going in the fast lane, you think you're in the fast lane, but you're not. So it's one of those things, you know, but uh, that's when your brain starts to switch off and stuff, you know what I'm saying? It's one of those things. I mean, that's another story for another day. Who am I to tell you how to drive? Hmm? But you must, re you know, you must value your own life. In the right ways anyway, trying to bring a smile on your little faces and your little your little uh, mushroom cloud that you got above your head. Like it's all some of us get bad luck, you see, and it always seems like there's a cloud over our heads. But it's all down to if you the person themselves are alright, everything's alright, you know. So it's all about trying to keep the positives. Come on, give me the fifty percent. I don't want to get two stars on this person. Yeah, I don't want to get two stars on this person. I'm not trying to hurt anyone. Not early in the morning. This is not the way I operate. Anyway, uh, well, I've got some nice little buffs here going on. Uh, as I said, I'm not going for the PR. It's not about that. You know, yeah, I was talking about eating food, everyone. Uh, we don't eat cookies and biscuits that much. We're risking for the biscuit, you see. It's like when you risk it for the biscuit, that's when you think of like, okay, now I want to try this. You know, who's this? Captain who? Let me turn it. Captain Ollie. I thought it says Captain Silly because my screen is a little bit cracked because um, that that seagull took me phone the other day and I had to chase it and fish it out of the sky. Remember I told you about fishing it out of the sky? After fishing it out of the sky, it, it actually took me devices, what you see. And I had to get my device back and by the time the device dropped down, it actually cracked. So uh, it was just one of those things. So uh, I don't like to blame seagulls for things that happen to me. But sometimes I've got to just tell the truth, you know, in life. But anyway, that's another story right there for you for another day. Uh, I'd rather eat jelly beans made from jellyfish. Because uh, there's plenty of them in the sea, but just uh, there's an opportunity there for people that are trading. But, uh, they don't need to know that right now. All I want you to do is drop drop your anchor and feel like you're at home. Me old chamba wasasis. Right, get the fifty percent. Don't get the two stars. Oh, he done it again. He did it again. I don't want to get two stars. How can I stop that next time from happening? How can I avoid that? How can I help? How can I help them by beating them, but still helping them for beating them? How am I supposed to do that? It's one to think about, that is. I love this person's name. He's got a donut. Oh, what is that? Croissant. He's got a croissant. He's got a burger. He's got a, what's that, a prawn? Making me hungry already, mate. He's got a, it's like a steak thing on a, a big bone. He's got 
chicken leg bees. He's got the he's got the swirly whirly lollipopsies. I like this person. He's a strong player that one is. Oh, Anna. Anna's got a flower and she's got a really tough little uh, what do you mean call it? What's that spiky plant, son? Flamingo. What's that spiky plant that they have? Cactus. cactus. You gotta say it probably got so you gotta say cactus. You gotta say it like that. That's the way you're saying. Anyway, um Nemesis. I don't really want to hit you, but because uh, uh, there's a few nemesis that I've seen, and uh, I think there's one at uh, who's at Speed Glasses Guild. What's their name again? The Loonies, innit? Them old Loonies, them. They were the brave Loonies at the time, they joined the brave hearts. Oh, look at this swirly whirly. They've got some more candy here, like players that I have to hit, but I don't really feel like hitting any of these candy players because. They're sweet players, you see. They've got their sweets on their things here, on their names and that. So I uh, don't really fancy him. Simsy? This was part. This was a game a long time ago. Simsy, all these little boring characters walking about and with the houses and everything. It was like, oh my God, I've got another one of those bases I normally can beat easily, but I don't have Annabelle. Oh my God, this today's streak is going to be a bit, a bit lengthy. It's just one of those days. As I was saying earlier, lads and ladies, I'm going to hit this guy ace anyway. I really feel like it, but I ain't got Annabelle there. She's my secret ma weapon of mass, you know, in infection. She is. She infects you well, good and well, she does. I think this player is from Dot 47, I'm sure. It's good to recognise players. I mean, that's part... I don't know who Sim C is, though. Sounds like someone... Uh, some little game from somewhere. Mm. All I'm trying to do, guys, ladies and laddies, is trying to just get the street game. But to be honest with you, I think today's going to be a bit of a slow day. So uh, this is one of those things. I don't really plan these things, and it's just going to be the way it's going to be. But all I wanted to say to you guys was that the, the adventure is not out there. It never was. It never is. The adventure is right here with old Uncle Boo. Oh my God, who's this Kermit? My God, they got Fraggle Rock going on it. Oh, well, something got to do with Kermit. Oh my, come on, give me some easy. William, yes, William from the drunk and disorderly early in the morning. Is that the one that got the horse? See, what? can you guys see the flags that I see? I've got black and white flags going on in my device. I've been having this for... Approximately, say about two years, probably the last time that I last device that broke and uh, had to get this one. And uh, yeah, this one I just uh, I don't know whether I upgraded to this device or whether I downgraded. To me, it just seems like I don't know. I can't even tell no more. Just from one device to the other. I'm swinging from branch to branch. I am, but it's all good. It's, well, I feel like a powder monkey when I say that. Swinging from branch to branch. But anyway, everyone should know by now, powder monkeys do rule, you know. They actually rule. Yeah, powder monkeys rule, mate. If you're a powder monkey, you can't say what you want to say. That means you're in the wrong... You're, you're in the wrong guild, mate. And those people, sometimes they think they can just kick you whenever they want. Huh? Nah, this is, this is one against you guys now. You're kicking everyone all the time, huh? For no reason. What's all that about? People are trying to enjoy the game and you're just like kicking them. Because there's a new player that joins you, it doesn't mean you've got a right to kick him and that. Don't do that. Alright? Because Uncle Boom said so. So I'll well, come for you. I'll come to your guild, you know. And I'll make things happen. <laughs> yeah, so please be good to each other. Even if it's new players, just give them a little chance. Don't keep saying to them, oh, you got to you fill the perks and let them build it. Let them build it first for the builders first, innit? 50%. Look, I'm not trying to hurt these people. Look, I'm leaving straight out the street. See, the whole point is, it's not to hurt people. It's just to do your thing and keep going in, in a sensible manner and keep working on your own gameplay. Set your own targets and goals. Work on them. Oh, I should have changed to Annabelle. What am I doing? I've got like short term memory loss. I don't know what's going on in my age. My god, yesterday, what, what happened yesterday? I couldn't remember. It, sounds, it seems like a, uh, it was like a bad dream or something. 
What am I do here is guys and girls and ladies, watch them on the, what am I gonna do here? Mm, let me try to be smart, right? Let me use uh free my boobly gooblies. Yeah, I use the abilities. Yeah, I use these little pisky whiskies. And I just get through to the lovely funny bunnies. I just wanna get the pirate wall down. Again. Oh my god, there's a lot of uh, loot there as well. Yeah, maybe I should just go in there and just jump them through and just get some stuff from there and it. All this gassy Fat boy here and oops, get them loops, get them loops. Oh my god, I've got a little bit of loops, but it wasn't in. Oh my god, have I not? Oh, have I messed up over here? I think I messed up over here. Let me just go sideways. Oh, what am I doing here? Let me take them out. Let me take that out for a minute and then just smash them out. Oh my god, I made it worse than it was. It's alright. Let's just get this. Uh, Pipe all down, all for the sake of not hurting another player. Peace is not always a way forward, people, but you have to gradually work towards it to make it happen. Maybe I can get that loot storage over there, but it's gonna just take so long. I'm not here to like drag this along, but yeah, I didn't lose too much there. See what it is. The reason why I say go for the trade streak. Look, you're gonna get one. You're gonna get one of those chests for the five. Yeah, you're gonna get another chest at the ten. But if you were to do another 10, then that will give you six chests. How does that make sense? If you're getting two chests for 10, you should just get another two for 20. But see, Madoka's not robbing you. Madoka's trying to give you more. So why not use that to your own benefit and just do a 20 streak? But you don't have to do it the way I'm doing it. Just take your time. I'm trying to speed run it. I'm just trying to simply speed run it. I'm not really a... Uh, Trying to, uh, you know, take my time and whatever. But you guys can take your time, you see. The reason why I'm doing this, I'm just doing a bit quick farming. I'm going to just use a few uh, troops just to get my little boost on my, on my, uh, on my loot. Because if I want to carry on where I am, I must do a little bit of farming on the way. Because basically I usually have like six, seven, eight mil. But sometimes I have people like farming on my island. Not them farmers, not them vegetables. I'm not really a farmer, 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 I'm not really a so as I was saying earlier on about the adventure being uh, here, so uh, I was sitting on the deck and uh, I was thinking of some ideas and boom it fell on me, shoulder, like a pouch of gems, yes, it was a seagull again. The treasures are out there to be honest with you and you just have to go get out there and get them. Whatever you think of in life, you can achieve it, you just go work, baby steps towards it, no matter what it is. The treasures in life are all out there, and also the treasures sometimes are sitting right in front of you and you just don't realise it. You know, when you log into your game, sometimes you're logging out of real life. And that's where you got to kind of realise, you know, am I doing the right thing? Just always have, you have to, it's good that your conscience speaks to you, you got to know, you got to understand. Wait, this is another, that's definitely something from firewater that is. I'm sure there's a fire sign right there. Because see, you can see on my screen how difficult. i got to work double difficulties here. But it's okay. I don't really mind it. I'm not going to complain about it. Because uh, the dynamics and algorithms within the game, sometimes it causes things to become more worse. So uh, I've had a time where I've sat... Basically, one of my devices, uh, the only device I had once, it kind of like flip-flopped a bit. And uh, I had to change from iPhone to the Samsung. And that's like going from iStore to Google Play. And to change that, you have to have the, the code that you get within the game. Dynamics and algorithms. There's a code in your game that you can set to put... I should have changed to Annabelle. I did it again. Anyway, that ain't the point. The point is, yeah. Yeah, so uh, I it was at a time when the... This this thing that's swiping, sweep, sweeping, sweeping, swiping over the world right now. 
when this thing first started, that's when my device broke, basically. So I don't know whether my device was trying to attack me or whatever what's going on there. I didn't even really know, but basically what it was, my device basically broke. And it's not that I'm saying about a sad story. I'm just telling you guys just to inform you. And that was the time that I needed it the most. And I realized that I had to live without it. See, everything happens for a reason in life, you see. And uh, I kind of realized I could live without it. And I, even the banking and stuff, you know, that was probably the hardest part of it. I was, I was, I was in like, such a habit of having a phone or a device. When it wasn't there, I kind of realized, well, can I live without it? And I kind of got through it, you know. And so basically what I'm trying to say is that it's important to keep, there's a code within the game that you need to keep written down on paper. It's not about taking screenshots. What if your screen's broken? What are you going to do then, eh? That's the whole point. I'm just giving you guys some little tips and advice. I pressed that give up just before it went to two stars. I wanted to make sure I get the 50% and not the two stars, you see, because there's a difference, because I am I know I need to get points as well, but uh, the, my point is uh, I don't really want to hurt people, you see, not during uh, Uncle Boom's streak, 20 Daily Street. I should have changed to Annabelle, what am I doing? I've done it again. Sorry? Can someone remind me next time? I've got, I've got to find someone to blame. I've got to find a flamingo or someone to blame. I don't want to take the blame for myself, you know, like, that's what us parents are all about. Us parents are all about being right all the time, even when we're wrong. We have to be right. That's what it's all about, being an adult. Yeah, I'm all right, mate. You know, it's not about being right. It's all about being left and right. <laughs> Got you with that one. Yeah, so what you want to do is the juggernauts and you want to put the brutes down at the same time. The reason because they have a love-hate relationship going on and they both need each other. So what you do is you press the brutes first, the fat brutes. So they just take the hits while the juggernauts do the damage. That's the whole point. You've got to use both these troops hand in hand. If you're using just one of them, you want to change your main lineup. You want to start, you know, powering up and upgrading and training your boots. That's the whole point. The boots need to be trained. You need to train the juggernauts. You need both of them. I use two brutes and I use three juggernauts. Well, I lied there. I used uh, two juggernauts and I used three brutes. Even though I can only put two boots on my feet, that's not the point, I'm talking about brutes. I need three brutes. So, uh, what happens with three brutes is that when they go ahead and they start using their ability, when they start using their ability, I'm going to take the points that helps me with my bundles going up. Yes, 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 I'm with the Troll Islands, I am. Hey, me mateys, they always welcome me, even though they got me as a powder monkey, that's not the point. The point is, I feel like I'm a QML in skilled anyway, because I'm like a grandpa. You can tell by my voice anyway, yep. I feel like I'm a grandpa in this guild. I feel like I'm grandfather. Oh my god, I found Corlius. Guess who Corlius is? Yeah. It's a friend of mine. <laughs> Well, I'm going to give him a PR boost, i tell you why, because uh, basically, we go back a long way. When I say a long way, I mean a long way. His name is Bill, and he's a fantastic person, lovely person. Well, I would love to say I know his family too. Uh, it's just fantastic, great memories all the time with people like that, to be honest, they... That's what it's all about. This game is all about creating memories, and that's part of life, you see. Where's all these grand hammers? Who's looking that way? I was about to go in that way. Ooh, lucky me. Lucky I had me dad's glasses on. Do you know what? I haven't got enough loot to go in big time. I need to go for a base where I need to use lesser pirate. Oh my god, I'm not gonna go for this guy. I don't know where he's got. Sometimes I can have a little. I forgot to put Annabelle on again. Oh, do you know what it is? She must be sleeping. Blackstorm, another fire water person, is it? Let me see. Yep, look at that. Oh, that flag's come up properly this time. See, I don't really mind giving some people a little PR boost. It's just, oh, I should have farmed it a little bit. What am I doing? If you give PR boost, you must do a little bit of farming. Next. Did I just go back into it again without choosing Annabelle? I just did. Oh my word, where am I living in this world now? Alright, I'm just going to take the pirate hole down the street. I'm not going to waste no time right now. It's not about wasting time, it's about making time. 
Yeah, so what it is, guys, girls, ladies, and laddies, it's all about making time for those that are most important to you. And, uh, and don't say that you haven't got time for this and you've got time for that. You've got time for everything. You've got time for rainbows and mushrooms. And you've got time for Formula One and stuff like that. But you've got time for your own f- peeps. Come on. It could be better than that. Yeah, so remember, charity starts at home. That's what it's always started. That's how it got me better the way it is right now. And, uh, we got to, we got to do the right things in life. You know, sometimes some of us need each other's support. Oh, I just about got it in my brain to just quickly get... Yes, me, matey, right there. i got to watch this, okay? Oh, look at that. I don't even need gold. i got a buff for gold. Oh, look what, look at my luck. As soon as I got Annabelle, guess what? i got the base I like to hit. But the only problem is it's facing a bit, a bit funny there. Let me see, it's a bit, this is a bit... How could that happen? How is that possible? How could I have got the base exactly the base I wanted because I got the, the right the parts that I needed? Alright, let's see if it works anyway. Let's give it a go. There's no harm in trying. No one's gonna tell me off anyway. I'm always not gonna tell people off now. Huh? Bit of time when people tell me off now, I can tell everyone else off. And that's the beauty of being a pirate. Yeah, so once you get in there a little bit. And you use your ability for the seagull ability, which is the priestess ability right there. Boom! Who's your uncle? Who's your uncle? Who's your uncle? Oh, it's only going to be me, isn't it? Really? No one else wants to be your uncle. Oh, it's another fire! Look at him! It's another fire pepper! Wow! They're really impressive, these fire people, they are. I don't know why, I've always got fire surrounding me all the time. Please win this. Come on, Boots, take on take on all the hits. Where are you? They're hiding behind the PH, they are. I don't know what they're doing behind the PH. What does someone do behind the PH? Unless they're trying to just, um, they have too much grogs or something and they just need to uh, stand behind the PH for a few minutes or something. Yeah, I think they've had too much. I uh, hope they've got some clean water buckets on them to make sure that it's all disinfectant, antiseptic and all that kind of stuff, dumb, dumb messed us. They don't want to be dumbing themselves down too much, but they need to do some dumb. You know what it is right now, I'm trying to get a bit of loot, I don't want to really hurt these people too much. I'm a peaceful pirate, I'm not a peaceful rebel. For pirate. What the plan is, I'm just going to do a, a quick 10 wins, that way, oh my word, this is Yen, this is Yen of, um, the guild MMTX for only players. I can't see the flags properly. Look, see it, it appeared anyway. So I like to give respect to people that I respect. Do it. Oh my god, my sky, sky boys have gone the wrong way, they have. What am I gonna do now? Where is she going? That's what I'm talking about, Midoki. You know what? Just do me a favor, please just help us with legendary pirates. We've been leveling up, up to about a billion now. And they're still going on different directions, and that. All you gotta do is put a little joystick on the left. And you just gotta, like, you know, put a few uh, buttons on the right. Just, just to show that, you know, we can control, we can control our legendary pirates. That's all we want to do, just control them so that all that, all that effort that we make towards getting them trained up to a certain level. Look, there's so many ideas you can, I can try to give you. I could give you an idea where, you know, uh, we can, you can try to uh, allow the, have some sky mines, yeah? Have some flowing sky mines where you've got, that, that, that they take down the sky raiders and the aeronauts. You know, like, there's things that you can do like that. There's so much creativity towards the game that you can do. We can have sky mines. So they, they kind of hit sky raiders, and, and it would be good in, during the thunderstruck because that's when 
just have this like glitchy kind of clouds floating about so they're kind of hard to see what way they're floating or whatever or a certain side that's going to have the sky mines on so it kind of like helps to break the fl flight path of the enemies when they're trying, trying to attack you there's, there's things that you can do there's so much more if you can control the legendary pirates that's a way forward anyway this has been a very very long video guys so I'll give I'm going to take a little break and then I'll be back for part 2 alright to continue the training streak and then after that we just eat, open up the chests and see what kind of uh, hairy chest uh, outfits we can get alright all the best see you guys in a jiffy later